Hello everyone, this is Kay, and I just started to record this gold forex chart live. Today is on June 4th of 2019, and looking at some trade chance on this gold chart. Now, as soon as I look at this chart, I noticed there is a descending channel line, and the price broke upwards like three days ago and it's been quite strong bullish trend after that and it keeps going upwards after the head and shoulder chart pattern here it went downwards then it created double bottom like chart pattern and it went straight up and the price even broke Ichimoku cloud and keeps its bullish momentum um, sorry, I forgot to say this, but uh, this is daily chart of gold, by the way. Um, so I will look for a buy chance as I see this environment. Currently, the price looks right at these previous shoulders level, so it might be resisted here and possibly goes backwards. However, stochastic shows, well, not really a good signal looks like it doesn't resonate with this environment in daily chart of gold um, here it looked divergence but right now it gold crossed because the price spiked high and that's something that we cannot predict from this stochastic indicator um, let's look at one hour chart now all right, this is one hour chart of gold on the 4th of June in 2019. And what do we see here? Um, it's been uptrend since May 30th and has been renewing the higher price since then until yesterday. The price was above Ichimoku cloud and also above moving average. So those who bought at these lower price places uh, there were no reasons to take profit until today. The stochastics shows it's been overbought since May 30th and showing green, meaning above 70% since then. So I can see that this indicator is not working in this parameter setting. But look what's happening today. The environment changed, right? Obviously. You can see that the momentum change as the price doesn't break recent highest anymore and it's been creating a range today. The Bollinger Band is squeezing and charging its energy for the next move and Scastics is going down. So the buy energy is currently stopped and the market is looking for a direction to break either upwards or downwards. However, as we saw on the daily chart earlier, the big primary trend is still bullish and if you look at the recent candlesticks, it shows pin bar pointing downwards, right? Meaning there's some barrier here that price doesn't want to go further down. All right, let's look at five minute chart now. Okay, this is the five minute chart of gold today on the 4th of June. So after the strong bullish trend, Today it shows a complete range as you can see and the price goes up and down but recent price action shows that there is a firm ground here like a strong support here so let me place a buy here hold on and place a stop loss right after the order as always uh, right now the stop loss is about 35 or 36 pips down from where I bought just below the recent lowest all right let me continue to explain what's going on here so after the continuous bullish trend until yesterday today it just topped the trend and started to create a range when you look at the chart you should notice these kind of differences because when the momentum changes there's always a trade chance. So I place a buy here because of uh, three reasons. First, the big primary trend in daily chart is on bullish. So I'm looking for some place to buy. And secondly, the current price level 
is relatively lower part of today's range. So my first target will be here, making risk re reward ratio to be one to like two. So it's a good bargain sale to me. Also, the third reason is the stochastics, because when you see it, it resonates the price action in this 5-minute chart. Like when it's gold crossed, it goes up, and when it's dead crossed, it goes down. So I see that the stochastic is working in this environment, and now the current price is below 30% level, as it shows in red color, and it's just gold crossed. So I'm expecting the price to go up the primary target. Currently, it's about 11 p.m. in Japan, and the recording was stopped somehow, and I would just keep talking to myself earlier. But anyways, um, looks like I'm getting positive results now, and see what's gonna happen here. Let me go to the bathroom and do some stuff as I keep recording this video.
Wow, did you just see what happened? The price spiked up and came back down. This is definitely by some kind of fundamental news, so I will check it later. But um, for now, uh, let me move the stop loss to slightly above the entry level. Uh, the reason is because whenever this kind of sudden movement happens, the price could spike on either direction. So it's always safe to secure the account in this kind of situation. You know, I always keep one thing in mind. It's not to win, but not to lose is way more important because then you can look for another chance. But if you die, that's it for the game, right? Looks like it's hitting the SL. Uh, yeah, it did. Uh, it's okay, I will look for another chance to buy. It's about one and a half hour later from the previous recording. This is also 5 minute chart, but after the price hit my stop loss, look how the price kept going down and marked the recent lowest now. When I look at this chart, I notice one thing, it's the price action. Like, if you look at the price action before and after the spike, to me, it's different. You know how it's different? Well, before I explain, let me place buy here and place stop loss just below the previous lowest, which is about 20 pips below my entry. And the first target will be the recent highest, which is at this level. So risk reward ratio will be one to like three, which is a good game to play. Okay, back to the price action. So you know how the price action is different before and after the spike? Well, when the price was going upwards, it took time. But when it goes backwards to the current price level, it didn't take much time. It came straight back down. And whenever the movement takes less time, whenever the price moves faster like this, there is a high, higher chance that the price will go to the opposite direction. In this case, going upwards. I've seen lots and lots of chart patterns like this in many currency pairs, so that's one of the possibilities. Also, another remarkable thing to look at is the divergence. You see how it's creating divergence, where price goes lower lows and stochastic shows lower highs. This is called divergence and it's one of the signals of trend reverse. So along with the current price level that's hitting the recent low, I think it's a great chance to buy here. Now I'll let the time go by and see what it's going to be. About one hour passed from the previous recording and I see some profit running. Now it's like 1.30 a.m. midnight in Japan, so I will go to bed anytime soon. But the price went above like 20 pips from where I placed a buy and currently running about $4,000 of profit. Now it's clear that the price was supported at the recent lowest. Stochastic is showing divergence, so I will move the stop loss right above my position so that I won't wake up with some bad feeling with loss cut tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. It's half joking, half true, but I'm kind of expecting that the price will go up and I think it will, but we never know. If you see the price action, there's a descending trend line here. So it might be resisted one more time here, could go back down from this current price and I will get break even, but it's okay. If that's the case, I will look for another chance to buy or sell or whatever. Hopefully I can show you some good results tomorrow. Until then, have a good night and sweet dreams. Hello, good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. This is at 11 a.m. on the 5th of June in Japan time. This morning after I woke up, I already confirmed with my iPhone that the profit is running. So I just took a quick shower, had some breakfast, checked a couple of emails, then recording th this video. 
Like I said, this is one hour chart of gold on the 5th of June, and this is where I bought yesterday. And currently running about uh, 50 or 55 pips, running over $11,000 of profit. As you can see, I bought right at the bottom of the recent lows, right at the bottom. So I can say that this is a good trade, and the trade was beautiful and ideal as risk to reward ratio can be maximized. Now, all I can expect is to keep going upwards and see what's gonna happen. Now, tonight in Japan time, we have ADP employment change in the US and other some economic news, so it might have some volatility then, but for now, I am expecting the price to break upwards as the price is still over Ichimoku cloud and Bollygen bad is squeezing. So it looks like it's charging its energy to break on either directions. Let's look at the 5-minute chart and see more detailed price action. Okay, this is a 5-minute chart. I think this is where I was here on my previous recording and remember I said the price could be resisted by this descending trend line? Actually, it did once, but it broke upwards all the way to the recent highest level yesterday. Then it went down a little bit, like uh, 20 or 30 pips. Then the price is in a range state now. Look at where the recent lowest. It shows like double button like chart pattern and stochastic shows divergence. So at this stage, I still see that the trend is still in a bull trend from this 5 minute chart. Now, it's like 11.10 a.m. in Japan and I will be going to Yokohama today where there is a beautiful seaport park in Chinatown. So I will just leave like this because I don't think the market won't move during it. Asian time anyways. I might report to you by Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook while I'm outside, but for now, I have to get ready to go. So I will see you tonight. Hello, it's Kay, and I just got back from Yokohama and came back home. And this is 5 minute chart, but look how the price kept going up. It's almost like 70 pips and making $33,000 profit so far. The price is breaking upwards and keeps its momentum. And Stochastics once showed overbought as it shows in green color, but after that, the price still keeps going up and looks like it's gold crossed just now. I still place my stop loss at the entry level, so let me move it to somewhere reasonable, which is right below the recent lowest, which is this place, ensuring 39 pips, about uh, $7,800, and aim for further profit. At this level, risk to reward ratio already is about 1 to 2, so it's already a good game. But let's see how much farther I can extend the profit. As I mentioned earlier, we have some fundamental news that might affect the gold market, so I will keep paying attention to it. Okay, five hours have passed after the previous recording. And again, this is a five minute chart of gold on the 5th of June. Now the price came back downwards and it's strong. The volatility is pretty high today. If you look at the price action, after it made one, two, three, four, five uh, waves upwards, it's creating uh, downward waves of one, two, three, four, five waves. And the price is near the recent lowest here. The price might be supported here and could come back up this way. Let me put Fibonacci here. Uh, yeah. 
If I put the Fibonacci retracement between the recent lowest and recent highest, the price is right at 61.8%. So I will move the stop loss, or now you can call it take profit line. I will move it slightly below this 61.8% level. It's 102 pips ensuring 20,480 US dollars and aim for for the profit. Uh, yes, I think it's quite reasonable to place the profit line here because of the Fibonacci retracement and also support line. And yeah, this is okay for now. If the price breaks this line downwards, that means the whole environment has changed. So it's okay. I will let the profit be taken. Hello, right now it's 1.20 a.m. in Japan time in the midnight and when I open the chart, uh, I see that the profit was taken while I was watching some anime. So the price was not supported at this support line and it just broke downwards. So the next scenario might be either the price goes up after it reaches the recent lowest or it continues to break downward and still continue to create a range in one hour chart. That's something that no one knows and it's uncontrollable as you know. The only thing we can control is where to buy or sell, where to place stop loss and when to take profit, right? All the other things belong to the market and it's something unpredictable. But today, I took a profit a little over $20,000, so I won the game and it's okay. And as the history shows, I placed the buy at 1320.87 and placed stop loss 20 pips below, if you remember. And I took profit at 1331.11. So how many pips did I get? it's about uh, 100 pips, right? So, what was the risk to reward ratio of the trade? The risk was 20 pips and I got 100 pips. So it was 1 to 5 ratio, right? So I can say that it was a beautiful trade. Whenever you try to place orders, always, always look for a place where there is relatively more advantage. Don't place an order in the middle of the range or just by your instinct, but keep looking for a place that you have more advantage like this. Then you can make profits out of this zero-sum game in a very stable way. Actually, I'm thinking to record a video about risk reward ratio and why it's more important than winning rate. Maybe during this weekend sometime, so stay tuned. I will put the link on the description below so that you can have easier access to the video. Alright, I guess that's it for today. It's almost like 1.30 a.m. here and I'm going to bed soon. So I will see you on the next video. And before you leave, please press the good button if you like this video and please subscribe for my future videos. Cheers, bye.